One of Honolulu's oldest neighborhoods recently held a block party style festival filled with games, music, free items, and yes, lots of food. Organizers of this annual celebration even claimed of one time having the largest electric slide dance group. Our EBC Hawaii correspondent Alfred Asenas checked out this event, which was also celebrating its 10th anniversary. Take a look. Ekoma Mai and welcome to one of Honolulu's oldest neighborhoods as they kick off 2017 with their annual street festival. So let's check out the taste of Kalihi. This annual street festival never disappoints in providing wholesome fun for everyone, both for the young and young at heart. Just like the state of Hawaii, the neighborhood of Kalihi is proud of its diversity and inclusivity. Now in its 10th year, the taste of Kalihi showcases cuisines from various parts of the Pacific. And let's not forget to check out some souvenirs and take home some freebies. And what would the taste of Kalihi be without live entertainment? Like this one, sponsored by the Filipino Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii. The Iglesia Ni Cristo, or Church of Christ, whose Honolulu House of Worship is actually located in Kalihi Valley, participated in the occasion by hosting an INC Giving Outreach Program. Here, they offered free photos and even some games while introducing their guests to this global church. Several dignitaries who visited the tent included City Councilor Joey Manahan and Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell. Filipino Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii member Stephen Callow described the taste of Kalihi's overall objective and shared his reaction for this year's event. I was the president when we first started Taste of Kalihi and we uh, actually started this mainly to revitalize the Kalihi businesses and uh, you know try to promote and see if there's anything we can do to lift up the economic status of the businesses in Kalihi and that's basically what we wanted to do and you know, it's been 10 years, and it's still going on, and this is a project that is sponsored uh, by the Chamber and the City in County of Honolulu. It's a good uh, avenue for people to converge together and do something and give back to the community. I think something that we can all rally behind, because I know this is, uh, this is a great thing for the community. And if, there's, if one business is helped, in terms of its, uh, you know, uh, uh, economics, I think that would be a great thing that this event would have done. So I think that that is something that we always look forward to every time, you know, we do it every year. Kahlo also expressed much optimism on the impact made by organizations like the Church of Christ on Kalihi and beyond. We, we have a uh, body. We have the physical body, we have our spirit, we have our soul. And I think we all need, you know, spiritual nurturing, spiritual food also for our, for our uh, as a human being, so, because I'm a Christian. As for the future, Kahlo hopes for increased involvement by more organizations from the private and public sector. It, it would be good to see whether we have actually accomplished our objectives when we first started this out. And I think we can maybe partner with other institutions like the church and even other organizations that may be able to help us accomplish our objectives, uh, such as you know, other non-profit organizations could be part of this. And uh, more government agencies should be actually get involved. Like, not just the city and county of Honolulu, but the state of Hawaii. Even the federal government should be part of this, right? I think everyone should become part of this whole event because it will only lift up the, you know, the status of our society yeah, as a whole. So. So what is the taste of Kali? Well, it's the richness, the diversity, and the fun of it all in one of Honolulu's oldest and most vibrant neighborhoods. So come check it out. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, I'm Alfred Asenis, Eagle News. I'm one with 25. All right.